We want to welcome you to the Pantheon. I'm your host, Rain. And I'm Evie. And today we're looking at episode six of What If. Now, What If is an anthology series which is bookended uh, with the Watcher, who is the uh, kind of like a celestial god. Uh, he kind of narrates the show for us. So this episode's called What If Killmonger uh, Rescue Tony Stark. So Evie, what were your thoughts and what were your thinking of this episode? Um, it was it was really really good, man. It yeah, it's you know, um, it's just like well, it's it's like what I thought. What do you think? Well, this movie utilizes uh, two MCU movies. It utilizes the original Iron Man movie and it utilizes Black Panther. The, the premise is Tony Stark, doesn't matter how many realities you're going to have, Tony Stark's, um, what makes Iron Man Iron Man is his experience in the cave. Once you take away that, um, you don't have Iron Man. So it doesn't matter how many outcomes you have or how much you change time or whatever it is, the entire premises of the MCU will all drastically alter. And what happens is, uh, Killmonger saves Tony uh, from going into the cave and becoming the Iron Man as we as we know him to be. So he never becomes Iron Man. He never learns his lessons, and the Avengers never form. And all the things that happen happen. So so uh, there's a great deal of an aftermath as well as um, foreshadowing uh, if you consider the timeline itself. So. With this film, oh sorry, this episode, uh, it's unique. Uh, K- Killmonger saves Tony Stark. He is, in this case, he is a, a deep cover operative working with the Ten Rings, and he undercover uncovers the fact that there's an assassination plot on Tony, and he and he saves him. And in the process, he uh, re- you know shines a light on Obadiah Stane, and he gets arrested, which saves the whole premise of the first Iron Man movie. Right. Now with Killmonger, Killmonger has not changed. Uh, he's considered a, a hero. He's uh, given a promotion with Tony. He takes him under his wing, and uh, he's uh, given all the, like they said the keys to the castle. And he's like his best friend because, like Tony, who has not as a, a father figure in his life or has has been sort of shortchanged in life, given a raw deal, so has Killmonger. So his origin story remains the same. It's just the Iron Man's origin has changed. Now because of that. Killmonger is still Killmonger. He is uh, a person who's been wrong, but his ideology is completely off kilter, and he will manipulate those around him to get what he wants. And in this such, he does go after uh, Wakanda. He does betray Tony and things, uh, go, because that's his nature, and, and his whole goal is to get Wakanda uh, under his control, as well as Vibranium. And this all still plays out. So like, even though uh, what you see in Black Panther, how he was, it hasn't changed. It's just that now he's interacting with the MCU characters like Tony Stark, like members like Pepper Potts and other members of the MCU or the Avengers like uh, Rhodey. So there is some add-ons and some changes. So he gets to play with certain characters and come out of the bubble that was just Black Panther and we see Killmonger in a different light. Uh, besides that, I thought it was very entertaining. It's less it's probably one of the less lackluster episodes, not much in terms of um, action, but in terms of intelligence and manipulation and see how cunning and smart he is. Uh, it's a great way to, you know, really showcase what Killmonger, how, how much of a cerebral threat he actually is, because it is a very intellectual uh, perspective, kind of like a chess game. So I thought that was really, really good in that sense. But if you're looking for an action, there is action. There is like a... Um, a Deus Ex Machina kind of like a climax near the end uh, in terms of how he's going to conquer certain things. So uh, that is good. Uh, is it one of the better episodes? I will say no, but it's the middle of the road. I have I don't know. I don't think there's an episode that I find that I've hated so far, but it's not necessarily the top tier of what I've seen so far in the six episodes that we've gone uh, through this. Um, besides that, it's still a recommend. Because uh, yet they have yet to um, let me down, and all the original actors are back. Uh, you've got um, Eric playing Eric Killmonger. You have Jordan B. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. You've got well, the only person who's not back is um, Gwyneth Paltrow and and um, Barbara R. D. R. D. J. doing the voices. But you have John Favreau. Uh, you've got Don Cheadle. You've got a lot of the original actors doing the voices uh, for the animation. So and I will leave it at that. I am Ray. I am Abby. We will talk to you next time. Take care.